Uganda, of course, remains on high alert over the possible spread of the virus following that death on the border with the DRC. Here's Dr. Josephine Okwero, the Director of Health at the Uganda Red Cross, uh, talking about their response. Initially, when the outbreak started in August, the level of the risk was put as high risk because uh, that was about 100 kilometers away from the border with Uganda. But with the case that was confirmed in Kasenyi, Kasenyi is only about 40 kilometers from the Ugandan side, the risk level was increased to very high risk. And coupled with that, also the situation in Beni, the insecurity that is deteriorating in Beni, is making more people to be displaced and we expect that with that um, several people will be crossing into Uganda and therefore further increasing the risk level for the districts that are at the border. Now with the case that died in Kasenyi, a number of people from the Ugandan side did travel for the burial in Kasenyi and when they returned our surveillance system followed up and tracked some of the, the people that went for the burial. But however, there were some two contacts of that patient that died in Kasenyi who was lost to follow up. And so really that all just highlights that truly there is a very big risk because of the cross-border movements between the two countries. So for the last three months under the leadership of the Minister of Health and together working with other partners, including the Uganda Red Cross Society, there has been significant effort build on, put on building capacities to be able to prepare and to respond in case there's an outbreak. And some of the key activities that have been ongoing are it risk communication and social mobilization. This is being done by our volunteers who go door to door talking to people about Ebola, sensitizing them on how to identify somebody with Ebola and in case they identify a person, what they can do to prevent themselves from contracting the disease. And then we are also doing a screening at the border points. We are doing um, every entrant that comes through the border crossing is being screened by asking questions, but also by having them wash their hands with water that has been chlorinated and they do a foot bath as well as a sign of um, a way of infection control. And then they go to a, a tent where the temperatures are being screened and whoever is identified to be having very high temperature, which is one of the first cardinal signs for Ebola would be isolated and then handed over to the medical teams to do further assessments. And also what uh, the government is doing together with other partners is pre-positioning supplies close to the districts where the, the risk is very high so that in case there's an outbreak, they already have the supplies. Medical teams have been trained to do case management. We have teams that have been trained to do safe and dignified burial in case there are cases that will die. So at large, I would say there's a lot of preparedness that's ongoing in the country.